Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. This is episode one of the Discord JS V13 guide, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple bot and also a few basic commands. So let's jump straight into it. I hope you'll enjoy. Now, before we begin the actual tutorial, let me introduce Sapphire framework, which is the framework we're going to be using for this tutorial guide. And what Sapphire is is that it is the official command handle for Discord JS. Now, keeping things simple, let me first explain what a command handler is. A command handler is a piece of code that allows you to handle the commands which are taken in by the bot. So, if you've watched our previous tutorial guide, you would have remembered the command handler that we wrote ourselves, where a bunch of if statements check for the command name that is provided by the message. And depending on the command name, we execute a file in the folder of commands which has the code for that particular command. Now, by using Sapphire, what is going to happen is that the framework itself will take care of all the command handling and we just need to define the files necessary for the code for each of these commands. So starting off, I'm going to be importing discord.js from the packages tab if you're using Replit like me. So let me install discord.js and once that's done, we're going to be installing Sapphire as well. So type in sapphire, add sapphire slash framework and this is the package we have to download. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to be starting off by defining the sapphire client, which is present within the sapphire framework. So const sapphire client equal to require add sapphire slash framework now we're using the curly brackets notation to take in a variable which is defined within the package itself so if we did something like sapphire what that would do is sapphire would hold the entire package itself but when when we're doing this we just get the client which we require now i'm going to be defining the bot so const bot is equal to new sapphire client and here we can pass in a number of options for example we can do default prefix which I'm going to be making the and symbol. You can also do commands case insensitive commands. And what this does, if we define it to be true, is that if we have a command like ping, for example, we can write ping like this or like this or in any other method which changes the capitalization. So capitalization would not matter if we have that turned on. Now, after this, I'm going to be adding the intents, which I have copied right here. Now, intents are a little complicated for beginners, but basically what they are is that they allow the bot to have certain permissions. So right here, we've defined guild members, guild bands, guild emojis. So the bot can view all of these uh, variables or all of these uh, all of this information from each server that it is in and we can use this in order to manipulate a uh, lot of numbers and we can get into some complex commands and even simple commands later but for now just remember that intents are quite important and we will have to enable all of these now after this is done we need to also go to the discord developer website which if you don't know how to create a bot that you can watch my first video on this channel where i go into how to create a discord bot app a bot app is basically the app we have right here which uh, takes in all the commands and gives us responses. Now, once we do have the bot, we need to tick all of the intents right here. We have the presence intent, the server members intent, and the, and the message content intent. We do not need to enable all of them, except message content, which is important for us, as we're going to be using message commands as well. But apart from that, uh, it's really up to you which ones you need. But for this tutorial, I'm going to be enabling all of them. Now, getting back to this, we have our bot defined. I'm going to be creating a async function. So this is async function main, which takes in no parameters. And this is basically going to be used for running the bot. So we will do as await bot.login. And we need to pass in the token right here. Now I have my token in the secrets tab, which is for the system environment variables. And you need to get the token from the Discord developer website and place it in here. Now I'm going to be doing process.env.token, which gets our token and we will be able to log in. Now I can do something like console.log ready. So once we have the text ready displaying up here, we can know that the bot will be ready and online. Now this is basically all we need for setting up the bot and running it. But I'm going to be getting into a few basic commands to show you how the commands work. 
so first we start off by creating a commands folder and inside this we can create files for each of the commands so for example ping.js for the ping command i'm going to be working on so starting off we have to import command which is a class provided once again by the sapphire framework so i will do const command equal to require as sapphire slash framework now command is a class predefined in this framework which allows us to define our own commands it has all the basic options which are necessary for a command and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be creating a new command called ping command which is going to be a class and this will extend command so basically everything that's present within command will also be present within ping command for now which we have defined and after this we have to create a constructor to construct an object of this class so what the sapphire framework would do is that if you do something like new ping command and here we pass in a few parameters inside the uh, constructor which is context and options this will be done once again by the sapphire framework but for allowing this to be done we have to pass it into the constructor here as well and now what i'm going to be doing with these parameters is that i'm going to be calling the super command uh, super function and what this does is it uses the constructor of the original command class and then it applies both context and options in now you might have the question why we're doing this since we can just leave it empty and the constructor will be used from this anyways since ping command is exactly the same as command for now but we're doing this because i'm going to be changing up the constructor a little bit let's start off by adding curly brackets and three dots to options and what that does is that it takes in all the fields from the options object and puts it into another object so if we have curly brackets and the spread uh, operator followed by options it's basically the same as having options itself but i'm using the spread operator right here because i'm going to be adding a few new fields we can add things like name which is the name of the command we can have a description which will be later used in help commands and all that and finally we can also add aliases so if i add alias p we can also use and p for executing the ping command so that's basically it for the constructor there will be more options i will get into later but for now this is enough next we're going to be defining an async message run function which takes in a message argument and gives us a response so this is not for slash commands this is for basic message commands now we can do something like await message dot channel dot send pong and this will give us a response now i'm going to be running the file right here and let's see if our bot runs looks like something is wrong can you spot it well we haven't ran our main function once we have defined the function we also need to run it so that the code actually executes now that that's done looks like there's another problem here so now what we have to do is we go into the ping.js command or ping.js file and you see that we have the class defined but the thing is we haven't exported it out so no other file can actually use it so what we have to do here is that we have to do module.exports and we do ping command colon ping command so when it looks for the ping command variable from this file we get the class itself now let's run it one more time and there we go the bot is ready it's also on the online list right here and now if i do and ping it says pong so the command works we did not have to deal with any command handlers ourselves it was all taken care of by sapphire and since we've defined an alias p here let's try that out as well at p and that gives us pong so that's how you create a basic command let's also try something else where we edit the messages so i'm going to be making b.js and once again we have to import command from the sapphire framework And then we define beep command extend it from the regular command then we do the constructor context and options and once again we have to call the super function and pass in our options let me give it a name and also let me give it an alias now the message or message run function
and here I'm going to be defining const message equal to await message dot channel dot send b and now we're going to be editing this message so how you do that is you take the message object right here which is returned from the message or channel dot send function so once we send this message this message is stored in this variable right here and we can use this variable to edit it so we do await message dot edit and we can change it to boop and you will see the change reflected in the command once again we need to do module dot exports now let's try this out so as you can see the command was edited or the message was edited so yeah that's basically it for this video i i just showed you how to set up a basic bot and a few commands and in the next episode we might delve into slash commands and some more complex uh functions of discord js and later on we'll also get into the more complicated topics which were introduced in the new v9 version of the api such as select menus buttons and all that so anyways thanks for watching this video i hope you did enjoy this and i'll see you all next time